Kansas Agribility. Assistive technology impacts North Central Kansas farm family. Okay, I'm Galen Seehofer with the Kansas Agribility Project. We have with us today Michael Bolte, his wife Becky, and their son Marcus. Michael Bolte contacted the Kansas Agribility Program because he was having difficulty with weakness in his left leg due to multiple sclerosis. The hand controls were the first part that Kansas Agribility helped you with. Because my left leg is what didn't work. So a hand clutch on that, on the tractors, on the burst part really works leg. We're going to have him tell you a little bit about his operation and what it's meant to him. I uh, raise wheat, milo, uh, alfalfa, yeah, soybean. And we got a pre raised cow calf operation. Since you've gotten this lift now, you've been able to harvest and, and uh, you actually got to cut crops last fall yes. with it. And this spring, what all have you done this spring with the lift? Oh, getting the skid loader, getting the loader tractor, getting the pickups, and just about everything I want to get into, I can pretty much get into it now. But uh, I know that you were telling me earlier about uh, taking the lift and the skid steer loader up to the pasture to fix fans. Yes. And uh, how's that working? Works, works, it works real good. I can get into skid loader, it's all hand controls. That's just made from the factory, that's how they make this model. And uh, I just pretty much get in there and I just live in there. And uh, it, just, it just works. The, the, the lift works really good for that stuff. And like I said, it's giving me freedom, give the wife peace of mind. Like with harvest time, usually he, last harvest he didn't be cutting. Got the weight and I just bailed the straw behind him and uh, the lift up in the tractor and uh, we got it going. He went back to cutting the weight and I just bailed behind him and uh, worked slick that way. Becky, uh, you know, Kansas Agribility, we'd like to know, you know, what it's done and what it's meant to your family. And well, you've done a lot, is all I can say. I mean, we, you started out with hand controls and I don't remember what tractor it was you started out way way I don't know, even know how many years ago it's been so started out there well basically what it really started was putting the lifts on the two tractors we were going to do one and then we decided to do both because he got in and out of both tractors and he was having issues with falling and not be able to climb up so we started out the lifts and we started that and that was a big help he was able to get in the combine and run that and we knew it was safely get in the combine at that time and then you put him on both tractors and then, like a couple years ago, I called Galen because he was trying to use the lift to get in one of the tractors and his legs quit supporting him and he fell. And we had another kid here with Mark. They had to go help him get into the tractor because he fell. So I said, Galen, we gotta do something else because it was not working. So that's when he talked about Hubert and this lift chair trailer. And then it took a long process to get that. There was a lot of... Oh, that was in July. Yeah. But we got phone calls from them, got response back, and then it was November, I think, almost Thanksgiving when we finally got it last year, wasn't it? It was, it, it, actually, it was the same day our grandchild was born. It was September 28th when Hubert delivered this trade. Right, right. Because I so, wasn't home, so. Yeah. But anyway, and that, like I said, you know, he was a little leery at first. And he did change the scene on the trailer because Hubert didn't think he needed the armrest. Well, with his MS, his balance was really precarious. So he found a different chair with armrest, which was a good thing. And he's used it a lot to get in the pickup, the tractor. Well, last fall, he used it to get in the combine, in and out of combine. And it's been a great relief and tremendous and an independence for him too. So, I mean, because he lives, breathes farming, that's his hobby, that's his job, 24-7. It's his livelihood, <laughs> but he, he has a passion for it, so to keep that out of that, it's helped him with his health because he's been active. He re remain active, he can remain involved in the farming, which is a big help. Our first referral that I got was through, can uh, was through uh, vocational rehabilitation in Kansas Agribility. And we came out to the farm and met with Becky and Michael and, and uh, we looked at the uh, combine. It actually was set in a shed up here and we went and looked at it and tried to decide, you know, how maybe he could access it and, 
and in our process we we looked at different lifts and the assessment part of it we knew approximately how many hours he would run it and stuff so we looked at that and we came to the conclusion at that time there was a, a machine shop welding shop not too far from here that could build the lift and get it on there as quickly as possible yeah the agribility is has uh just been super for us it's in my words kept the family together it makes me happier because he's happy because he's happy that he can be in the tractor farming which he loves to do being able he feels like he has a purpose too other than you know you don't give up you keep on going even though you, you know he's diagnosed with ms and he still keeps on going stubborn works i guess so <laughs> and then marcus He's been a tremendous help too, because now he has to do a lot of physical labor because his dad can't do it anymore. How do you feel about the lifts and your dad using them? I can got a couple hours a day to get him out of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it works. <laughs> he can go be in the field and you can do your yeah. thing in peace. So, so it's it's been a tre tremendous help, especially for farming where it's 24/7 job and there's always something different going on and. You know, he's so fully involved, we all are, so, you know, it's, Candace Angerbilly has been a huge help. I don't know where, what we have done without it, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, it's a way of our life, is it, you know, we're, we started farming a year after we got married, we've been farming ever since, so, it's 30-some years ago, so it's. Without Angerbilly, I'd be bossing. No, I just manage. <laughs> <laughs> you can understand that one. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to Michael, Rebecca, and Marcus Bolte. And thanks to Galen Seehofer, Kansas Agribility and Assistive Technology for Kansans. Step Platform Lift, manufactured by Miller Welding, Downs, Kansas. Chair Boom Lift, manufactured by Life Essentials, Inc., Brookston, Indiana. 2014 Assistive Technology for Kansans, ATK. Kansas Agribility Specialist, available at five regional AT access sites. Call 800 Can Do It, 800 526 3648, or online at agribility.bae.ksu.edu. Edu.